Welcome back to another segment of Manifest with SI Power. On this segment, we're going to talk about Does God Give a Damn? The title is not to be mean, controversial, but it is to depict the picture that the masses are painting of God. So let's look at Mark eleven twenty four. The passage says, whatever you pray for, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. So did it say, do you deserve it? Are you worthy of it? Are you good enough for it? Are you enough for it? Whatever happens, happens. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. No, it clearly says that whatever you pray for, the prerequisite is believe that you have received it and you shall have it. There's another passage in 1 John, I think it's 515. It says that if he hears us, then we know we have the prayer answered or the petition answered. Something to that effect. So what kind of God are we dealing with, right? Are we dealing with a God that cares or doesn't care? Are we dealing with a God that's random? I'm confused, right? It says, when you pray, whatever you ask for, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. So the prerequisite is to believe that you already have it, right? So now with that being said, what God is out there? Is it a God that answers prayer or doesn't answer prayer? You mean to tell me that the prayer gets answered for a front parking space at Whole Foods, but a struggling family with kids can't provide for the kids? You see what we're doing? Where is God? Is he outside or is inside? Of course he's inside. How do we know that God hears us? Because he's inside, right? We hear our own inner conversations. We hear our outer words. So God hears us. And it says if God hears us, then we have the petition. We have the requisition. We have the answer to our prayer. So let's stop passing the buck and acting like we're separate from God when we're one with God. So our prayers are being answered, but we're wanting to not take 100% ownership, 100% accountability, and 100% responsibility. We're blaming an outside God. We're whining, complaining, and spiraling, and giving up, thinking that it's not done. But either it's done or it's not done. Which one is it? Let's cut out the confusion. Let's cut to the chase. Let's meet the requirements and receive what we say we desire to receive. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you received it and you shall have it. If you know that he hears you, then you have the petition or requisition. 